Let's begin with Doodly 101, your Doodly beginner walkthrough. This video tutorial was created with version 2.5.6, but the walkthrough will help you learn any Doodly version. Hi, I'm Wayne, the creator of this free video content. Nice to meet you. In just a bit, I'm going to show you content that's designed to show you 1 minute and 30 seconds of different video design techniques, try to make you laugh, all the while telling you how you can support this channel free of charge. If you're someone that feels the thousands of hours I've spent creating free content for you is not worth the 1 minute and 30 seconds of your time, simply use the chapters feature I've taken the time to create in this video and skip over it. Just move your mouse over the video timeline and click on the next chapter. For those of you that do appreciate the time I've taken, here it is, and thanks for watching. This free video tutorial took billions of light years to create. YouTube judges a channel by subscribers, likes, shares, and video hours watched. We only ask for all our hard work. Please use those buttons and let this video run until the end. Thank you. Easily support this channel free of charge. Here are some methods. Click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. This video is monetized. Let the video run all the way to the end. The ad revenue, as little as it is, helps support this channel. Join our Facebook group. You'll find a link in the description. You'll receive group status with me and other experienced doodlers and video designers ready to help. Share these videos with other people you know, and even people you don't, whether it's in the official Doodly Facebook group or somewhere else. The more people that watch and comment, the more videos I'll create. Join Production Crate through the link in our description. They have a free account and some of the best video designing effects I've found on the internet, along with tutorials, so you know how to use them and can create effects like what you'll see throughout this video series. YouTubers! Reference back to our video in your video or video description. We would be appreciative of a link back to our channel or a plug in your video showing us our hard work paid off. Let us know about it so we can return the kindness. Contact us if you want to get a little more creative and learn how to pass traffic amongst channels. Time for Chapter 9. Chapter 9 Asset Settings. We're going to learn all about Doodly Basics, Sound Effects, specifically asset attachments. This is the last chapter in the Doodly walkthrough that we show you before we show you the updates that have happened in Doodly post recording this walkthrough. Clicking on an asset reveals several options above the asset. The first one is edit. Clicking on the edit icon will open the asset editing options. We see a full picture of the asset. Everything in this window relates to how Doodly should reveal the image. Most of the items here are about creating paths for the reveal of your Doodle. It takes a bit of getting used to, but this section right here is the power of Doodly. This section right here is what makes those awesome reveals. Let's click Return Without Saving and show you an imported image with pathways already created. In the Props Library section, we can click the Categories tab and choose My Library to filter out all the Doodly provided images. Let's scroll down until... Yes, there's the I GIF animation. I added a couple of paths to that one already. Perfect. Looking at the Reveal Path section, we see I created two paths. Each path created tells Doodly to lift the hand before starting the new path, just like an artist would when they start drawing in a new area. Clicking on each path will reveal which path points that are under that path by turning them into blue dots on the canvas. The path size determines how big each path will be when the reveal happens. Too big or small of reveal paths and the realism will be lost. Find the happy medium. The Tools section allows you to select and move and add or delete path points. If we want to move one of the path points, we can do that with the Move tool. Each point tells the reveal hand where to stop when revealing the image on the canvas. 
Let's lower the size of that pathway by using the slider next to the path size. There, that's a little more reasonable. The keyboard shortcut Control plus Z or Command plus Z on a Mac also works to undo, but I'm using the Delete tool to remove these additional path points. The Zoom option allows us to increase or decrease the size of the asset in order to better control and move the reveal path points. Animation duration is only for testing in the preview window at the top. It does not affect the reveal itself on the canvas. It allows you an easy to use method in determining what you would like the duration for that asset to be in the layers section. Reveal mode tells Doodly to either fade the image into the canvas or draw it, which is revealing it. We can create new paths by clicking on the new path button and we can delete the path as well by either clicking on the delete key or right clicking and deleting the path. Renaming the path will help for future editing. I don't usually take the time to name the paths, but it does help if you have to come back into the reveal paths later. Looking at the asset settings, we can see there are several options including X and Y coordinates to place the asset on the canvas. This does not work well because it is center aligned instead of left aligned. The width and height are constrained proportions, which means adjusting one of the parameters directly affects the other. Flip changes the direction of the asset on the canvas, and color changes the outline color while opacity changes how opaque or see-through the asset will be shown on the canvas. It is advised to stay away from using sound effects in this section. Put them on their own audio timeline. When attaching a sound to the asset in this section, it now becomes part of that asset and is limited by that asset's duration instead of its own. For example, if you have a 4 second audio clip or sound effect and only a 1.5 second duration for the asset, the audio clip will only play for 1.5 seconds and abruptly stop. In addition, you lose the ability to control the volume level of the sound effect that's attached to an asset. With that said, you can click on the sound drop down for the sound effect options. There is a search option at the top. The exit animation allows you to tell Doodly to individually erase an asset before beginning the scene transition. Keep in mind that it takes quite a bit of time to erase individual assets. I've seen a few of these examples of this effect and haven't found one that looks good yet. If you do set the exit animation, there is an option to attach a sound effect to it with the same limitations I spoke about earlier. The loop count is for imported GIF animations. It is important to note that Doodly will ignore your loop settings in a GIF animation if you created that animation. You will need to manually set these again in Doodly. Additionally, if you choose to use GIF animations, ensure you've left enough delay time before the next asset is displayed or enough time at the end of the scene to allow your animation to fully play through the loop sequence. Clicking on invert will swap the colors of the asset. This is it for this chapter. You should now have an excellent base for working with Doodly. Keep an eye out for more Doodly tips and tricks and make sure to watch the updates in Doodly section coming up next. Hey, that's it for this video, but not for the rest of the information on this channel. Here are some more videos to help you keep learning. Click that subscribe button and tap that notification bell for more Doodly tips and tricks. Let's make a deal. You keep watching the videos and I'll keep creating the content.